In this video, we'll talk about uh, Ethereum and whether a bullish breakout is actually possible on the, on the short term. So <laughs> let's get right into it. Uh, first of all, good afternoon. I'm a, I'm a little bit tired, so we'll take it easy in this, uh, in this video. Um, but we'll talk about Ethereum, which, uh, I mean, today has been quite bearish. Let's be honest, you can also see we've dropped down by 1.5%. Uh, a um, little bit less, but doesn't matter. Um, but my analysis from like two days ago, because I cover Ethereum now every, uh, every other day, um, is still what I think is going on. I mean, right now, I mean, obviously we found resistance at uh, 1295 and 1300, which is a, a major resistance level. Um, so you're not going to break through that easily. Uh, the fundamentals in the market are obviously not uh, amazing yet either. Now, on the other hand, and why also we got this bullish momentum, which is obviously um, a very important question, is that the economic fundamentals um, around, well, let's say, just the, the asset market, so, so stocks and, and, and stuff, stuff, but also for you as a, as, as a consumer, they have become more bullish. Like, for example, you take a look at the Dixie, the dollar uh, uh, strength index, that's falling. And why is it falling? Well, because the monetary policy of the U.S. Federal Reserve is kind of changing. We see lower than expected inflation rates, and therefore then they need to adjust what they're doing to the interest rates, which means it's probably going to go up uh, uh, like a little bit less. It's still going to go up, but a little, uh, a little bit less. Um, and what that means for crypto is that that's bullish, all right? Because low interest rates are bullish for for all asset markets. So that's also why Ethereum was this bullish. Now I think the only reason why we haven't gotten this bullish breakout yet is because of the bearish fundamentals in like the the, the entire market of crypto. Everything with FTX going on, um, but still I do think we can break above thirteen hundred. Uh, well, let's say yeah, maybe tomorrow evening. So in about uh, I don't know what it is like. 24, 36 hours, something like that. A little bit less probably. Um, because even though today we are dropping down quite, uh, quite, quite severely, we are still bullish. I mean, uh, the level we touched today was 1260. Um, I would say it's even possible that we'll drop down a li little bit lower towards like 1240 and 1250. I'd, I'd say that's pretty realistic. Um, I still think we're, we're going to consolidate and then at some point, either tomorrow evening or, or beginning of next week, we'll break above 1300 and we'll get up to our next price target between 1340 and 1360, uh, which is a famous resistance level from uh, back in these days, end of uh, September, beginning of October. But uh, but yeah, so so that's going to be, uh, I still think this is the most uh, realistic scenario. If, if we really take all fundamentals into account, and also, even though today, uh, I mean, it might be a shock that, that we're in the red, um, we haven't dropped down that much. And you can see that we've also reacted to, um, if we really zoom in, to the 28 EMA, which is that blue line, that we react off of that this well is already a, a, quite, a quite, quite a bullish confirmation. Um, but apart from that, everything else lines up quite, uh, quite well as well. So that's, uh, that's my take on Ethereum. Now, I'll be back with another update, obviously, uh, like um, Monday. But until that time, if anything happens, I'll, I'll also post some updates in the, in the Discord server, of which the link is down in the description. So, that's my take on Ethereum for now. So, and enjoy the rest of your weekend. Take care, and uh, thanks for watching. Bye.